Let's take a look how to make this wavy and grungy text effect here in Illustrator. Let's go and select the type tool, type in something, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. And I'm gonna go with the Juniper Medium. It's a free Adobe font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. From here, we're gonna go to the appearance. If you don't have it, you can go to windows and select the appearance. And the first thing I'm gonna do is select the type. Let's go to the effects. I'm gonna go to warp and I'm gonna select the flag. Here on the flag, you can bend it. You can increase or decrease it and bend it into the opposite direction. But I think I'm gonna go with this, for example. It looks pretty cool. You also got the horizontal if you want and you're gonna bend it differently. But I'm just gonna go with zero, zero and click OK. Now I'm gonna go to the fill and this is going to activate the stroke and the fill. Click on the fill, I can choose a color and I'm gonna go to the stroke, change up the color. I'm gonna go with black increase the stroke thickness and now I'm gonna go to the effects, distort and transform and select a roughen. With the point I'm gonna go with smooth and I'm gonna decrease the size but I'm also gonna increase the details so I'm gonna make it even more detailed. It still looks kind of messed up so we're gonna need to decrease the size even more under one so I can try it out for example with 0.5. So there you go, now it's even better. So you can test it out, for example, 0.3. I think I like this. I'm gonna click OK. I'm also gonna need to make these sharp edges rounded. So I'm gonna go back to the stroke, click on the stroke text, and I'm gonna go to the corner, make it rounded, and there you go. Now I'm gonna make the 3D effect. So for that, we're gonna need another stroke. So I'm gonna go with the stroke, drag and drop to the plus. And we're gonna go with the second stroke. I'm gonna drag it under the fill. So now I'm gonna go and select the stroke at the bottom. So let's go to the effects, distort and transform and select transform. And here I'm gonna create a copy. And from here I'm gonna go to the horizontal and move it with one pixel and vertical. I'm gonna go with minus one. Now let's go back to the copy and increase the copies until you're gonna have a really nice extrusion. I'm gonna go with 40, click okay. And I'm also gonna add some lights. So let's go to the top stroke and drag it to the plus make a duplicate and I'm gonna select the second stroke which is under and I'm gonna change up the color to white and let's go to the effects, distort and transform, select transform and here all you need to do is go to the horizontal and the vertical and set up this light effect which is gonna look probably something like this. I'm gonna click OK. And this is how you make this really cool wavy text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.